Okay. Okay, Mokoa is just sat here observing. Like, literally, he is just sat- Okay, you guys can make it any more obvious if you tried. <laughs> and welcome back to a new video. I am back in Ireland living today just because this is the most fun series and I always miss when I'm not playing it. I love the vibe, the beachy vibes here so, so much. However, I just wanted to show you guys quickly if you're OG or you watch any of my other series, particularly Broken Dream, check this out. Somebody is literally living in the Villarreal house. <laughs> they say played because I had to go and like investigate the situation. I was like, you can't live here, okay? This is the Villarreal house. This is like the broken dream house. You can't just move in. Obviously, everyone who lives here is miserable because of the trash plants outside. Look, guys, it's our old broken dream home. Abel's bed. It's all very sad and emotionally distressing. And then also, the person living there, Walker Goth. I looked at his family tree and he is literally the child of Alonzo Goth and somebody. I don't know who. But I'm guessing some of his parents, obviously his parents would have been the goths too, so he is literally a goth. If the Villarreals are like a pretty iconic sort of like Sims OG fums, then the goths are definitely the most iconic, so I thought that was kind of interesting, but we're not here to play with this badly dressed man. I just kind of found the whole thing a little bit like what am I doing? I found the whole thing quite shocking and distressing because nobody gets to live there. Nobody except Max and Emma, okay? But enough of that. Let's head back to Solani to our little island living where they are, girly whirlies. Let's go. Oh, and Arya is going through Ari. Arya, we ain't in Game of Thrones. <gasps> Is going through a phase, she may pick up an instrument of any uh, any chance she gets and yell often and turn up all the radios to 11. Okay, great. It's also the neighborhood brawl, which we are immediately ending because that is the most known holiday there is and I just kind of hate it very much. So it's a Saturday, which is great because I get a full day of actually doing fun stuff and of exploring. Sage has work. Ooh, she could be on the road for a promotion today, so I'll send her in. Also, this gross house most definitely needs a little bit of a clean. We got sick on the floor that mean princess is oh princess is oh wow princess is not in a good state okay vet trip needed stage might have to do that when she gets back home from work because it is her kitty cat and i've got ari doing some little homework as well she's a c student Honestly, for my Sims, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. And while they do their thing, I just wanted to let you guys know if you haven't watched it already, we put the proposal video up on the Claire and Ali channel. It is a really nice video. I'm not just saying that because it's like my proposal video. Like genuinely, I cried watching it. It's super emotional. It was like, edited and shot so nicely by the guys that did it for us. It was like a Balinese company and they're amazing and so nice. So yeah, definitely go and check that out because um, it's pretty epic. And see if it makes you guys cry as much as it made me cry. I also like, oh, we have some money now. Yes, I can buy some shelves. I feel like these are the kind of girls that like displaying a good shell. Okay, so let's pop a few of the cool things they've collected on their shelves. We got loads of shells. We got some kind of like crazy shell hack where we got like 10 million shells. I don't know if they've patched that in the game yet, but the shells seem to like endlessly um, like respawn. So you can get a lot of like shells very easily in the same area. You don't even have to go around, which is pretty cool. <laughs> wow, look how big a conch shell is. That's crazy. Pop some mermaid kelp on there too. And then Sage, ooh, you're in work. Okay, work hard. Gather some feed sample, field samples. If I get her to socialize with coworkers, you know who she's gonna be socializing with. I'm just saying. And I can't put any of her stuff up because she's still at work. Okay, fine, whatever. So it's also kind of a bit of a cloudy, like muggy sort of day today. However, Never fear, because when you're a mermaid, that doesn't matter at all. Also, her social and hydration are kind of low, so I might get her to drop some texts to her new mermaid friendos. Serena, who she's still like trying to get on with, but like Naomi, who she does get on with really well. And then obviously we met Yuda in the last episode. However, he's pretty mad at um, Ari for deciding to become a mermaid. He thinks there's a lot of like the gross stink, but he thinks there's a lot of downsides to it that she perhaps hasn't really investigated. Like he hasn't fully thought about. Um, so he is not impressed. Maybe if we want to do kind of a mermaid meetup today, he can at least see our view a little bit more. And also, Ari needs to get a suntan as part of her like lifetime aspiration. So maybe today we can finally get a suntan. Literally, complete opposite to- Oh, it's sunny now. Okay, awesome. It's the complete opposite to what um, real life Claire actually preaches because she's like not really about the suntan life. She's about staying out the sun, avoiding the sun damage. However, in game, I will, will allow myself to uh, let you get a suntan if that's what you want, Ari, okay? Oh. 
Oh, and I've just realized I actually have loads of wellness treats. But I'm here like letting the cat suffer and I actually don't need to because I have wellness treats. So that's kind of dumb. Ooh, and if um, Sage gathers field samples, it actually increases her logic, which is really cool. Ooh, and if she studies field logs, she might find usable research data. Well, that's really cool as well. Let's get her to do a little bit of that. And then let's call our mermaid gal pals. They've texted her with a new place that's really cool to hang out. That's like a secret spot for mermaids only. And they've said as well, like, Yuda's our friend. So now that you know him and you know he's a mermaid, like, whatever, you, you guys can like, like, he, he will come with us now, but he's a little bit prickly just to to warn you. Sometimes inside the most prickly fruit though is the most delicious center. I'm just saying. Also, you to be delicious. <laughs> and this is our little secret hidden mermaid spot. There's no boats and no place to really dock boats. So you can only get there if you can swim. Well, that's my idea. Just wait. NPCs will be Jesus walking. Town is Jesus walking over to my island. You could just see it happening. But hydration is low. So why don't we start the day off with some nice swimming around together. Look at these two. Why are you looking so embarrassed? I thought you was doing a flirt, but you're actually doing an embarrassment. And this is the whole mermaid gang. The whole mermaid gang here together to come and check out the beautiful mermaidy sights of Ari, basically. Because let's face it, she's a gorgeous mermaid. She is a pretty beautiful mermaid. Oh, yes. And I love how fast they swim as mermaids. It's so much faster than like you. Oh, okay. And we've got like a proper little mer gang now. A gang of mermaids. Uh, and it's not a shoal, it's a mer gang. Educational lessons here. I'm basically David Attenborough. <laughs> This is, uh, oh, there we go. I was about to say, here is the wild mermaid showing how beautifully and gracefully a mermaid swim. And then she was like on top of the seawater, but luckily she actually decided to play game. Okay, so we're trying again to make a little bit better friends with Yuna. We also know now a little bit more about his backstory. He was um, a fisherman, which is how, um, oh wow, what's going on? Why you got a little red cheek? Are you feeling embarrassed? Please don't tell me you just peed in the ocean that I'm in, because that would kind of kill my romance vibe a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is kind of feeding into my idea that he was mad about Ari becoming a mermaid because he likes her, because he's got a crush on her, and that's why he feels a little bit embarrassed talking to her. But yeah, we know that um, Serena got hurt by mer by fishermen, that's why she's covered in scars. We don't know if Yuda was the fisherman that caused it. He could have been, but she hasn't said anything. Regardless, she appears to have forgiven him. Oh wow. How a mermaid should what go, how a mermaid should not go. Beautiful symphony of the two there. Also, his way is clearly faster, Ari. I'm just saying. You need to get with the mermaid way of swimming, okay? Wow, you guys are going out far. Okay, this is like full on really into the ocean. So please just be careful. Even these guys are, sit are staying a lot like shallower than that. Please just be careful. I can't even see you. If they're free diving, can I not see them? I can't go down through the water. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're really deep in the water here somewhere. And I'm nervous. We know this girl's a mermaid, by the way. <gasps> Look, when you're in deep water, you can't see their tails as much. Oh my gosh, please be careful. Please be careful, little mermaids. Um, but yeah, whatever's happened, she, um, he drowned and she saved his life. So clearly she, if he did do it, she forgave him. And maybe that's why he kind of hates humans so much because actually he hates himself for what he did. See, see where I'm going with this? There is a rich, beautiful story to be uncovered. Oh. Look, look, look. Apparently as a mermaid, you can lure better fish into the area. So look, look, look. This little glow is showing that a mermaid has tried to lure them in. However, I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of vibe that like, if you were a mermaid, you probably wouldn't want to eat fish. Like it just feels a little bit close to home. Like, I mean, I don't eat any animal, but a monkey in particular would be a bit like, you know, I'm kind of looking at cuz here. I don't think I can eat them. <laughs> Maybe they feel similarly about fish. I know that I would. Also, I like the other mer girl has come over. This is clearly like a secret mermaid spot. And I really like that. So look, there's like this little cutesy area here too. In fact, why don't you um, come swim here? And then we can get rid of the um, clouds that have reappeared. You can try and get your first suntan. Like, I really want you to be able to get a sun. I, I don't. However, for the sake of this video, we really want you to get a suntan. So call, call some clear skies. Ooh. After she's done that, hopefully the sky will get a little bit clearer. Does it seem to be? Kinda. Hopefully she can sunbathe. And now... Why can't I put sunburn? She's not sunburnt, game! She's not sunburnt. Look at her. Like, she's not sunburned. 
Why do you keep doing this game? You're actually driving me crazy. How am I so ever supposed to get a suntan? I think it's because if I like go in cast and take off her skin details, is she gonna have sunburn this whole time? Like my sims have been so burnt and I've never even realized. I feel like no, but let's just see anyway. Okay, that looks pretty much like she's got nothing on her. These are freckles, but look, it's like a machine cut. <laughs> oh, maybe it's because she's got custom skin as well. Oh, okay, so it's like fourth from the right like if i just i'm just gonna give a non-custom skin for a second let's just see if this changes anything i personally don't think it would but let's just see like i still can't i'm getting last exceptions now but i still can't apply i can't see any burns like she's not burnt yeah it's so bugging me that i can't like she needs to get the suntan as part of her beach life but i can't give her one what about if i try and get her to sunbathe in the ocean how cute is that i love these things i love them for dunking like fighting and pushing people off in them. Oh, he's like, yay, go sunbathe, girl. Oh, mermaid, mergirl. <gasps> Will she stay in mermaid form while she's on this? I actually would, no, she doesn't. Oh man, it would look so cool sunbathing on that as like an actual mermaid, but I still can't apply, but like, she's not sunburnt game. What is wrong with you? This girl is not sunburnt even in the slightest. So this is kind of annoying. Okay, that's vexed me out so much. Oh guys, I'm so disappointed. She's not getting the start, starting to burn or anything. Okay, so it was just, hanging out. I'm gonna ask her to light this. It might be a little bit too close to them actually. It moved away slightly. Also, maybe a little bit too close to the sea. I can't really see fire starting there. Can you? No, Claire, this is stupid. And we can all have nice hangout times here. There's no toilet here. She kind of needs the toilet. She's also kind of hungry. I know you don't want to eat fish, but also you don't have anything to eat, so you may have to. But at least for the whole toilet situation, we can just go in the sea, which I kind of love. Sage is still at work. Wow, she works long hours now. Wait, eight till four. Sage, why are you still at work? <laughs> What's going on there? I don't think you have to leave now. There we go. Oh man, how did she not get promoted for that? That is so not fair. But I was gonna, oh look at this. That mermaid is out and about. Uh, I was gonna bring her here, but not to like fun mermaidy area. She instead is just gonna keep on uh, doing some good surveys and whatnot and cleaning up the ocean. Just because I need to try and get the island to um, like a really nice state. <gasps> Obviously, obviously he is here. Wow, and look at this as well. She wants to hug someone. Maybe that someone will be a Makoa. But yeah, I want to get the island, like keep up in the state of the island as much as I possibly can. Because I want to see what happens when you like fully upgrade it. I was also reading that one thing you could potentially do as a mermaid is if you do the siren's call, it calls them towards you, but also you like absorb all of their like, like if you're hungry and you call them, then you will like absorb everything from them. I know it's really bad. Uh, what's going on, Sage? Why are you here? <laughs> Why does my game do this? Why is she just running across the whole of the sea like this? I definitely don't feel like you should be doing this or you're coming to come and dive with Makoa. When you like a guy so much that you will literally run on water over to see him. That's where we're at right now. I found an anti-environmentalist. So I'm like, what better person to try this on? So I'm really hoping that it tries this time. I also don't know why she's not peeing in the ocean. I've seen you do it before. Like, don't you don't need to pretend that you don't know how to do it. Because you definitely do. I'm really hoping that we can uh, stop this anti-environmentalist. This is one thing that um, Yudo would actually definitely approve of. Because he hates humans that are destroying the ocean. Like, what is going to happen? I just drag them over to me. He, this is the furthest anyone has come when I've done this. So I'm kind of excited to see what happens next. Like, we've dragged him over. Like, what's going to happen now? Uh, are we actually... Oh! Oh! Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, she pulled him under. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, he clearly did not like that very much. Oh, but I did. I absorbed all his traits. And now, she, now he's ranting about conservation. And she's shutting him down. Oh my gosh, but by this logic, I could literally, you could never leave the ocean. You could literally never leave the ocean. I'm gonna summon a threat on this guy as well because we don't like him. Like, he's destroying the environment. He is not cool. Also, look at his dark, angry, evil eyes. Like, clearly he's not a good person. Is Sage, though, after doing that? <laughs> I mean, that's a whole different question. Oh my gosh, you're very close to the deep ocean here. Be careful. Okay, so here we go. Giving him some more punishment. <laughs> this is what happens when you hurt the environment. You get eaten by a bug. If, if this was the case, nobody would let a bug ever again. 
Literally no one would let a bug again if this was the case. This dude is kind of shocked by this, but yeah, we don't like this guy right here. We don't like him at all. You're lucky you're close to the shore, okay? Oh my gosh though, look at this scared. I heard something. Ari is a little freaked out right now. And also everyone has gone home to sleep, which is kind of annoying because we're meant to be in the ocean. And be real careful here, Ari. They're don't go die. too deep, yeah, okay? Because Sage is here spraying invasive down. species. And this could be a very awkward conversation if we're not careful. Oh look, it went from red to green. Clearly, we did a good thing. <gasps> but look at this. Sage also got stung by something in the ocean and also... She swallowed some water in the ocean too. So Aww. you've got one per one of the two that's like literally a mermaid swimming into the depths, going so creepy and low that she heard something, which is kind of scary. And then another one that gets stung by jellyfish and eats water if she tries to swim. Kind of two very different folks there. And yeah, this guy, this guy definitely not looking so good after um, Ari dealt with him. So that's one way to deal with the anti-environmentalist. You've got the sage route of conversation or the Ari route of I'm gonna nearly kill you. And then so maybe you'll stop with this. Oh my gosh. And also I just come back over. When a guy is trying to impress you so hard, he's doing underwater sit-ups. Underwater sit-ups, people. Okay, let's get our little butts home, please. Oh, and Mac I forgot Makoa's in my group, so he's coming too. Yes, I know. Okay, so this is a strange little 3 a.m. Well, meal. Here. Also strange outfit Gosh, for it too, flips. but... Or yeah, oh, 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 gosh. He's it's sleepy. He's sleepy, but he came around because you asked him to sage. Really? I'm just banana. saying, be careful, girly whirly. Be careful with your little garlic noodles together. You're also feeling pretty sleepy. Yeah. I do think, though, that he's not going to try and follow it into a bed. Like, it's not that kind of situation. So don't worry. He's so sleepy that it might be better for us to let him sleep first if he needs to. We need to write up where we, um, you know, we changed the coral from red to green. I feel like that's a pretty good reason to write a um, conservation article. And they're both feeling energized and focused. The conversation is pleasant, but don't worry. It's not turning its way um, to being flirty. I'm leaving them to see what their own vibe is. And right now, it is not a flirty vibe. Also, the more money we get, I feel like we should get some furniture out here and like, is that just a random wall? <laughs> what? But I feel like we should get some like little cute pieces out here and whatnot, just to like make it a little bit more homey. I should buy some more stuff from like the um, island living park, shouldn't I? Like really, I want to get this bed, but it's too much money. I want to get rid of that one and give Sage the cool bed. Oh look, I can put like this little thing outside. Okay, that's cute. Oh wow, one sofa. <laughs> One sofa is all I can afford right now. But hey, it's better than nothing, okay? Maybe we can move this onto here as well. Maybe it will help with our, our awful attempt at trying to get a suntan. Probs not though, let's face it. Okay, and then Makoa, I feel like you need to go to sleep. I don't know what excuse you're gonna come up with for why you didn't come home tonight. That one's still a little bit of a mystery to me, but I'm sure you'll figure it out, okay? Yeah, he's going to bed. Oh my gosh, he's going to her bed. Don't worry, they're not doing to bed together. They're not both in it, but still. Here, I'll put this fan on for you. There you go. Get a nice night's sleep, okay? He even looks so freaking cute when he's sleeping. Look, look, look. Just cuteness all around, really. Man, you put in the hours, Sage. You don't have work today, but you got work again tomorrow. So we'll just write some conservation articles and whatnot in the meantime. Be good environmental googie eggs. Also, the thing that I'm most impressed with is the fact that Princess... Princess has also really been quite a good environmental googie egg because she's not, like, eating all the wo local wildlife. And that surprises me greatly. Okay, so Sage has gone to sleep in Ari's bed instead. Which is fine because Ari is now up and about and lacking hydration. So to me, that means we can go. Ooh, mermaids would never be caught snorkeling. Very taboo subject. I don't want to know what that means. However, I want to see if I can try and um, see Suxuma, so we're going to do a little bit of a swim. Oh, the weather is kind of trash today, though. I'm not going to lie. I might see if little uh, Yuda wants to meet for some breakfast. She's very intrigued by him. I think he's very intrigued by her as well. It's a nice dual intrigueness. And oh my gosh, yet again, look, every time he sees her, he's so embarrassed. That's just real freaking cute, isn't it? And since a barman was just not showing up, but literally look at that. They're like, it's Sunday, you guys are crazy. Instead, the two of them have gone to this little cave because they needed to get up their hydration. I'm going to ignore the fact she's doing that. I've even tried to repair my game to stop this running on water thing. But look, it's like, go away. <laughs> 
But look, it's like such a cool place. Like with the little waterfalls. There's even like some, uh, oh. Okay, that's the evil mermaid. I was like, there's some mermaid like guarding us. Nah, she's the evil mermaid. I don't know why she is here. Uh, I might ask Yuda if he knows her. It'd be interesting to know if he knows the like bad mermaids. Cause then we kind of know what like mer category to put him into. Cause right now he kind of seems like he's like in between both. Also the rain was kind of annoying me at the beginning of the day and I was gonna call for like the um, like doo -doo get her to change the weather but then i'm like actually you know what this is kind of quite a good thing because people don't tend to come out in the rain so we can kind of be all mermaidy and no one's ever gonna like notice us so that's good also she's like i'm gonna compliment his outfit but i do feel like in this form complimenting an outfit is being like oh i like your tail your tail is a really cool color because that's kind of his outfit right oh <gasps> and apparently it's winter. I mean, it doesn't feel very wintry. Don't you think it's weird as well that this this mermaid here, wherever Ari is, this mermaid is. I feel like she's definitely trying to pull her into the dark side. Maybe she saw what she did to that environmental conservationist person the other day. Uh, and she thinks that maybe Ari will like help her with evil mermaid deeds. But I don't think Ari's like that. I also just realized that Ari's, when I changed Ari's skin tone, her um, hair like changed to the one that she has in her day look and her heart, which I don't want to do. I also gave it some cute little butterflies because I think that's really nice. I kind of love that they're in this little kind of like beautiful secrets Bro, kind of cove all on their own and i definitely feel like these two are like feeling quite drawn to each other like mermaids seem to be able to feel like they could be soulmates with like dolphins for some reason also i think maybe the idea of soulmates and being drawn to somebody is just a lot stronger maybe if you're a mermaid anyway which is why these two little, little merpals end up wanting to hang out quite a lot look their, their tails are in sync as well i feel like that's a big deal you know like when you walk and step with somebody and it's like they're doing it, but with their tails, and I think that's really cute. And I noticed on the show then that uh, Serena came over and like saw them both and looked like she was gonna join. But then she was like, actually, I think I'll leave these guys too. And if someone literally just... Okay. Okay, Makoa is just sat here observing. Like literally, he is just sat... Okay, you guys could make it any more obvious if you tried. Like seriously, why? Seriously, why? Why would you do that? He's literally even following you. And yeah, I think you guys have just been found out by Makoa. Not cool. Um, Definitely not cool. And now he definitely knows you're a mermaid. And is probably gonna tell Sage. So good work, gang. Good work all around. It's cute that you guys had like your first like sweet little like date today and with less like being cute little teenagers, you have gone and revealed your secret. So that probably not so great, let's face it. Even though she's above land, she has this option to do a mermaid's kiss. I have no idea what it is, but I feel like since it's a mermaid option, it's probably like something that I want her to try. Oh, it's just like a little chiss on the cheeks. Well, that's just cute and sweet. Okay, it doesn't actually give them romance, even though they've got these like love things going above their heads lots. I don't quite understand what a mermaid's kiss is then, but I think you're just heading off home. And uh, if I was you, I would also head back home, Ari, instead of practicing your singing, because I feel like you're about to get found out. Okay, so Makoa has asked out Sage to the island on the guise of like, oh, let's do like some final little clear-ups before we have to go to work tomorrow so we can like report on our findings. He's like clearing some stuff up over here. Sage is up, oh wow. <laughs> Right on the like a scary volcano and doing some cleanups up here But really he's brought her out here because of what he saw this morning and of what he needs to uh, Explain to her all the two of them are combing the beach for trash because that is kind of the way that these guys roll I also wonder if like um, Combing for trash as a group actually like helps promote the island's improvement faster I'm not really sure but this is kind of the way these guys roll. Oh apparently combing them at the beach also requires some hugs and stuff as well. And <laughs> why do you always need to be in this outfit, Bakoa? No, okay, you don't need to be. But also, he's asking about Ari. Like, oh, did you did you know that Ari's been hanging around with some people that the islanders kind of know as being like potentially dangerous? In particular, a certain boy that I saw hang around with. He's a like a local boy, but he is definitely known as being a bit of a burden and a bit of a troublemaker for Yuda. I think you need to talk to her, and also I think you need to try and get an opportunity to see. 
see her in the bath. You know, Sage just be like, see her in the bath. Like, what? What does that even mean? I am literally so confused by whatever nonsense you're chatting right now. And he's like, I know it sounds weird. I know how weird it sounds. But just, just go with me on this, okay? Please just go with me on this. But she's like, what you've said is crazy, but like, you've only been good to me since we got here. Like, you're my best friend on this whole island. If anybody wouldn't be messing with me, it was you. I trust you. He's like, it's good to hear you say that. Like, you are like my best friend who we have been spending every day together and you've been doing so much good to the island. I feel like we really needed, oh my gosh, why talk about rules and space? We really needed someone like you to come along and like help with the motivation and help with the cause. So thank you for that. She's like, I kind of came here because of like some crazy stuff that had happened in my past that I needed to escape from. And you have definitely been a perfect escape. And literally the algae is going pink. The algae is going pink, which is making this situation way more romantic than it needs to be. Algae, stop trying to wingman right now. Okay, let's just stop it. Oh yay, it's going green again. I'm definitely a bit worried for you and what you are potentially going to find. And did you just pull some chicken out of your pocket? Like seriously? He's like, if you have any conch shells as well, you should give them a blow at home. Just like, trust me on this stage, just see what happens. And the water's not so pink anymore. But he's gone for a flirt with her. She's absolutely just shut that down immediately. <laughs> Like, she shut it down so hard that my game's lagging. That's how hard she shut that down. And she's gonna head home. He definitely tried to go for, like, a little bit of a romantic option there. Like, he's worried for her and what she's gonna find and how she's had a crazy past and she doesn't want any more, like, weird paranormal nonsense in her life. But try to go for a flirt and got denied pretty hard. I know Sage is in a relationship, so she's probably like shutting that stuff down. I actually didn't think she would shut the flirt down, so I'm kind of secretly quite impressed that she did. But yeah, he went for the flirt, guys. He went for the flirt. So Sage is home. Again, nights and days don't really seem to mean anything to me and my sims anymore. She is pretty tired. She's gonna go pee before bed. And she's kind of looking at the bath being like, what did he mean by that? I'm literally so confused by what he even meant by that. And what did he mean about the whole conch shell thing as well? I have one in my inventory. An ordinary conch shell, nothing to see in here. Just a plain old boring shell. Definitely doesn't provoke a response from the aquatically inclined. Let's go ahead and just like try and blow it and just see what happens. See if there's any truth to what he said at all. I mean, he saw everything and he seems to, the locals seem to know about the mermaids. So I'm kind of intrigued by this. Okay, this is literally the trick Ari used to try and find mermaids before. Okay, well, that's definitely pretty creepy. She's like, oh, Ari, like, look. Um, it's like, I've, oh, wow. I was about to say I just cleaned the bath if you want to use it. I didn't even need to say anything because Ari went straight in there on her own. And as soon as she gets in the bath, the tail, like, flops out, which I kind of love. But if I get her to go in here, will she react like she's just seen a mermaid? Because she should react like she's just seen a mermaid for the first time. <gasps> yeah, okay, she reacted as though she'd just seen a mermaid for the first time. She actually went out the house. She actually went out the house. She's been like, oh my gosh, my kind of sister almost is a mermaid. My sister is a mermaid. My sister is a mermaid. My sister is a mermaid. And wow. Okay. Yeah. This is a shock. I clearly don't actually know her. And I'm not even going to sleep in the same bed as her. Okay, Ari. You've got some working out and some explaining to do. Because yeah, I, I feel like if Sage knows, pretty soon everyone's going to know. And your secret is out in the wild so what will happen next Makoa went for the flirt Sage turned it down but will she continue to do so will she tell Jace I don't even know you guys should let me know in the comments below just because she rejected the first flirt doesn't mean an affair can't still happen and Sage's secret uh, sorry Ari's secret is now out in the wild what does that mean you guys are gonna have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of I Love No Things if you did please give it a big cheeky thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video Thank you so much for watching. Bye.